administrative policy, morale, and retention on border patrol is extremely horrible right now. So my question to you is, what are you trying to do to kind of get the ball rolling in a positive direction as far as retention? And who can do that? Yeah, I do want to take that, actually, because I agree with you. I, I do think that uh, morale is at an all-time low. I do think that we're losing way too many agents, not just agents, uh, professional staff, old folk, is under some of the same stresses. Uh, just this, well, uh, today, uh, you know, one of my friends is going to get buried in Tucson, California. Uh, retired chief who uh, committed suicide this past week with two sons in the war trip still. And, and that's tough, right? And so, as an organization, we got to start taking care of each other, right? No offense, Mr. Secretary, but this is, I need to do a better job of taking care of y'all, but y'all need to do a better job of taking care of me. But we can't start, we tear each other down instead of building each other up. And uh, Kari Huffman, who is the senior border patrol agent, I'm the senior border patrol agent, but as far as time in the border patrol, he's the senior guy, right? 1986. He is our chief operating officer. His number one priority is resiliency for CBP. So we've got to put together some programs and some initiatives that take care of us, right? Whether it's our physical fitness, our mental fitness, our spiritual fitness, it's all of it. And I, I get it. You come to work, you're frustrated, you're upset because you didn't get the desired outcome that you want. Doesn't mean you give up. Right? I know you're not. That's why I'm saying we don't give up. We stay focused. We continue to do the job and the mission that we signed up for. Right? We all signed up for it. We all raised our hand. It's kind of hard to say that. To defend the Constitution, not the It's not hard to say it. It may be hard for you to say it, but I've been doing this for 31 years. It's not hard for me to say it. Every day I wake up and I'm committed to this organization and I'm committed to each one of y'all. We say, that. we say the same thing, but it seems like the policy's not. Then you keep releasing the because you're getting, the country. you're getting bogged down in the policies and the politics. You can't even say illegal alien. What's happening? You can't even say that. That's why Chief Scott left. You just said it. You can't. Is anything going to happen to you? No, you no, just said it. Yeah, the whole generation. The whole generation. Why are you guys getting caught up you in semantics? Right? There's a mission out there to be. There's a mission out there to be. Guys. We can sit here and argue about it till we're blue in the face. Right? I've been doing this job as long as y'all. That's the problem. What's that? That's the problem, Chief. For, for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing. That's I can't exactly hear you. For evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing. That's exactly what's happening here. Good men are doing nothing. You're allowing the legal aid to drop off no, communities. You are doing something. No, sir, we're not. You are. No, you're sir. rescuing people every day. You're taking fentanyl off the streets every day. You're taking methamphetamine yes, street. under this Criminal administration for the last year, we've got the highest fentanyl death in the history of our country. In one year, in this country. You know, we've made more fentanyl year. seizures already this year than we made last year. How many have we not captured that we're focusing on expanding? I don't know. And that's I the problem. And we're working on it. We do not have results. We don't have results. On a lighter note, when are we going to get the VF uh, money solution? We need some new <laughs> <laughs>